This Seed Starting Moment series is about the whys and some of the hows of my seed starting story. The number one tip that you're going to hear throughout this whole series is keep it simple and stay out of the rabbit holes. Whether you dream of being a flower farmer or you just want to grow flowers for your kitchen table, I'm Lisa Mason Ziegler. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. So this is seed starting moment number one. Why to block and which blocker to use. So seed sown in the garden, um, I learned early on is a gamble. And that was a gamble that I just didn't want to do. I found that healthy transplants are definitely a sure bet. It's easier to be successful planting transplants out in the garden. I found soil blocking to be simple, more effective, and cost effective over the long run. Once you have your equipment, you're literally just adding soil and seed every year. So the really cool thing about soil blocking is that the, the blocking mix is both the container and the growing medium. That's what makes this such an amazing system and also greatly contributes to the fact that it's super cost effective. I was introduced to soil blocking as so many people are by using the two inch block. Well, I had a couple of problems with that. One, I needed it to be more space savvy. Um, in the space that eight of those two inch blocks fit, I can fit 40 of the three quarter inch blocks. Um, plus, I did not have as strong a success in the two inch block or sowing tiny seeds on top of them. So that led me to explore starting more seeds in the three quarter inch blocker, which has led me to where I am today, where we start 98% of our seeds in the three quarter inch blocker and they grow in that block until they're planted out in the garden. We have a super high rate of germination in that small block and it's because it's so much easier to keep that little three quarter inch block evenly moist and warm um, which is exactly what your seed is looking for. The other part of soil blocking that is um, really I'm looking back now y'all I see how so much of this has played a role in how wonderful my flower farming career is gone, is they suffer no transplant shock. That not only means you just don't lose plants because they're not suffering, you don't lose them to disease and pests because they're not stressed from the get-go. They hit the ground running. And when they don't have to have a recovery period, that means that they are going to um, grow quicker, get established more quickly, and that all means a quicker harvest, which is what I am all about. And the other part of this, because of such high germination in the three-quarter inch block, um, we only sow one seed per block. There are situations where I put more than one seed, but we purposely do that. Um, but in general, one seed per block, so it completely eliminates thinning. And this method for me consistently worked. I was a hit or misser in those other methods that I tried before I found soil blocking. Um, and so it consistently works, which is super um, encouraging as someone that's trying to start seeds for a business. And it is really easy to do. I found that when I followed the recipe in measuring um, and chose the right block and got my stuff set up properly, this is a super easy to do and highly successful seed starting method. Plus, the part that I really love is there's no clutter. We do not have to store a bunch of plastic pots. All we have are the trays that we use. We use them for years. They do not break down over time. So we don't have that clutter problem. Now, what size blocker should you use? And this is really simple, y'all. When I am growing a seed for the first time, a new seed to me, I literally get the seeds, dump them out in my hand and look. If the seed is too big to fit into the three quarter inch block, or if it is obvious, once it is placed into the block, it's going to bust the block wide open. That's the only time I use the two inch block. The reason I not only is the high rate of germination in the small block a big part of why I want to use it, it's its space savviness. So um, I'm always looking to start in the three quarter inch block, but when and if I need to use the two inch block, I use it. I don't use it often, but when I need it, I need it. 
So friends, that is why I soil block and how I choose the soil block size that I use. Again, it is so simple that most of us just kind of miss it, right? So friends, if you want to learn more about seed starting and soil blocking, or if you need the equipment, head on over to thegardenersworkshop.com and check it out.